So now that I finally got this bison, I have all the legendaries available and I will compare them all in this video. So the first one, the Invocation, it is the OG variant and honestly it is quite bulky, the iron sight is not the greatest, especially when shooting from afar. But there is one really nice thing about this gun is the kill effect, the sound of it. And so if you are playing with it for a longer period of time, you just start vibing and you get into that flow state. And so while, like I said, as you can see the sight is really not the best, but I do recommend this variant for when you intend to play with the gun for a longer period of time without many breaks because you just start to vibe with it and it's real nice. The second one, the homebrewed hex, is the smallest of them all, and the iron sight is a lot cleaner. However, it is also very small, which can make it difficult to have battles from afar. So for this reason I recommend using it in like close to mid-range encounters, so in smaller maps. Because in those areas this blueprint is just amazing. And in fact I have my personal kill record with this exact blueprint. And you can watch that video afterwards. The third one, the Jingle 55, has probably the best iron sight, but it is also quite weird, so it takes a bit of time to adjust to it. But once you get used to it, you can do really well with it, and the gun is also very lean, so it is not really obstructive or anything. My only issue is that when you remove the camos, the top part is just remains white. And so otherwise, it is really nice, although the Overall sound when you're shooting, I'm not too fond of it. But it is a very viable option and currently available for cheap in that holidays thingy.
and finally the oath's defiance is the last one and we most likely are not going to see it anytime soon because it came with the mythic templar and i hope that mythic characters will not be just brought back like the legendaries so it will take a longer while to see it again and the iron side is a really mixed situation it does look quite clean but those fingers on the sides they just make it a bit harder to aim well and it is for this reason quite obstructive although it is quite good at longer ranges but the other variants the christmas one or the second one they are just i would say better but don't get me wrong this is definitely a very nice iron set as well just other variants I would personally use instead of this one. So the video is finally ending and to conclude I would say that the jungle 55 as well as the 100 hex we have the best sites. The invocation site is not really good but the gun itself I love for longer gaming sessions. And the Oath's Defiance it has a okay iron site. It's not the best but it's like not, don't get me wrong, it's not horrible. And all four of them are really nice and it really depends on your, on your personal preference, on your playstyle. And well, that would be it. One gun, four cameras.